Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class is a 60 minute mandala vinyasa flow and in this class we circle around our mats facing the side of our mat, back of our mat and return to the front of our mats. And it's a class that is fairly low speed and slow flow so if you haven't done a mandala before then uh, this is a nice introduction uh, focuses on opening up your hips, your hamstrings and restoring range of motion through your spine. And because we do circle around our mats and face in different directions, it might be worthwhile to place your device that you're watching on to the side of your mat, along the long edge of your mat. So you're still able to see if you need to look which direction we're going. I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice today sitting in a comfortable cross-legged seat. Prop yourself there on the edge of a blanket or a cushion just to allow your pelvis to tilt forward, your legs to relax out of your hips. And then just making some very subtle movements through your torso to find that sweet spot through your spine where the crown of your head is balanced over your pelvis and your spine's following its natural curvature. And gently closing down the eyes And settling your focus, your gaze toward your third eye. Between the eyebrows and in toward the center of your head. And letting your breath flow freely, naturally. And then invite yourself to become still, quiet, except for the movement of your breath. And just begin to cultivate an introspective, inward perspective. Sensing the energetic flow of your breath. The very subtle enlivening qualities of your inhale, the soothing side effect of your exhale. Just tuning in to the subtle features of both sides of your breath. And know that each breath you take, each movement you make throughout your practice has its own energetic quality. Some are expansive and energizing and some very calming and soothing. So just try to customize your practice and move and breathe in a way that supports what you need right now in your practice. And if you're feeling a little tired or fatigued here, just make the choice to move gently and settle your unwavering attention on each breath in. If you're feeling well rested but you're a little distracted, focus your energy into moving calmly being deliberate with your breath and just embodying the soothing energy of your exhale. Just breath by breath, focusing your attention to support yourself and your energy will naturally follow 
and your practice will support you. So just sitting quietly here for the next few cycles of breath and simply connect with what it is that you need right now. Yeah, simply connecting to the rhythm of your breath and its unique rhythm today as you practice. And taking two more cycles of breath here. As you breathe out, just drop your chin toward your chest, your head toward your heart. Blinking the eyes open, welcoming the light in. And just lifting your gaze. Walking over your legs now and we'll come into a wide knee child's pose at the back of your mat. So you can angle the knees out. Perhaps even touch the edge of your mat with your knees. Bring your big toes to touch. And then just lay your torso down in between your thighs. Walk the hands forward. And creep your little fingers to the edges of the mat there. Spreading all your fingers. And if it's possible for you, just press the space between the eyebrows in toward the man, just bowing in, feeling your breath adjust and flow toward the back of your body and starting to deepen your breath. And then from here, we'll take a lateral stretch, just lifting up part way walking the hands over to your left. Keep the hands separated, shoulder width apart. And then press the right sit bone back toward your right heel. And once more, just bow in. Invite your breath to move into the right side of your waist, ribs, armpit. And then breathing in, lift up a little way, walk your right hand back to the midline of your mat. And we'll take a twist, threading your left arm underneath your right arm, coming down onto your left shoulder, your left side cheek. And just take a few cycles of breath there, opening into the middle and upper back. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release, taking your lateral stretch to the right now, walking both hands over to the right side until you feel a bend through the left side of your waist. And place the hands down, rest your head, breathe deep into the left side of your waist, the ribs, all the way out to the edge of your left fingers. Breathe in deeply here. And then walk yourself back, right hand, sorry, left hand to the midline of the mat, thread the right arm underneath 
and come down for your twist onto your right shoulder right side cheek you can close your eyes here really encouraging yourself to turn inward feel the movement of your breath and take one more full cycle of breath in your twist and as you breathe out walk yourself back to center and glide up onto all fours there position your hands underneath your shoulders spread all your fingers there and then take the knees hip distance apart and a little back behind the hips so you've got a diagonal line from your hips to your knees press down through your shins and all ten toes and we'll just start to move in a circular manner just circling your hips over your heels leaning out into the sides of your waist ribs and hips and letting your breath really complement the movement letting your movement be an expression of your body so just moving in a way that feels good and go ahead circle back the other way plugging down through all the knuckles of your fingers and then just really gently make your way back to center walk your hands out in front of you and come into Anahatanasana heart opening posture so the shape of downward dog in your upper body hips balanced over your knees shins pressing down and arms reaching forward forehead either resting on the mat or just hovering there broadening through your upper back drawing your shoulder blades away from the midline of your back as you extend out through your arms just keep breathing gently opening breath by breath eyes forward as you breathe in and melt down onto your belly as you breathe out and set up for sphinx pose drawing your forearms forward shoulder width apart there palms face down and stretching lengthening out through to the edge of your toes engaging through the legs and very gently drawing your ribs forward pressing down through the pelvis engaging through your abdominal core to find a mild back bend through your spine and just focus on feeling your upper shoulder blades move toward the midline of your back so you feel a bright opening across your chest deep breath in here and as you exhale peel down to the floor take your hands by your ribs and make your way back into a downward facing dog and you can keep a deep bend in your knees we're going to transition and flow through a few vinyasas to warm up so just stretching long through your arm bones spreading all your fingers and perhaps walking your feet back a little longer so you've got a nice long stride and then float forward to a high push-up on your in-breath bring your shoulders over your wrists reach back through your heels and try and share the effort through the abdominal core and the legs the arms and then knees chest and chin to the floor peel down keep your hands by your ribs and just take a really low arc through the spine bhujangasan cobra pose and as you exhale downward facing dog so we just start to flow with our breath twice more just like that forward to high push-up knees chest and chin to the floor breathing in arching breathing out downward facing dog and one more just like that ripple forward through your spine either take a full push up or knees chest and chin to the floor breathing in cobra pose 
And this time, keep the knees down, just roll back into a child's pose, bringing your buttocks to your heels. Balasan. Keep your arms extending forward, your forearms lifting. Your gaze inward, your breath smooth and steady. And remember, you can rest here anytime during the class whenever you need to take a break or do less. And coming up onto all fours, we'll make our way back into downward facing dog and pause for three deep breaths. And you might like to pedal out through your heels or sway your hips or simply be still and steady. Just tuning into your needs. And take a full generous breath in, gaze forward between your hands, little bend in the knees and walk yourself forward, setting the feet up hip distance apart, we'll take an easy forward fold here, so a soft bend in the knees, fold the elbows, catching opposite elbows and lay your torso over your thighs, allow your head to point down toward the floor and then very slightly angle your heels out so you feel nice and broad through the backs of your legs, sit bones spreading. And then release your hands to the floor and then on a slow inhale unravel and come all the way up to stand reach your arms overhead exhale bring your hands to your heart center and go ahead keep your feet hip distance apart two half forward folds here to connect your breath with your movement deep breath in arms overhead send your gaze up to the tip of your thumbs Exhale, dive forward over your legs, soft bend in the knees, come into your forward fold. As you breathe in, lift your chest, straighten the legs. As you breathe out, soft bend in the knees and forward fold. Press down through your feet so you root to rise all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more cycle, arms float overhead with your breath, palms touch. Forward fold, Uttanasana on your out breath. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way to stand as you breathe in. Hands rest to your heart, breathing out. So healing your feet together, we'll begin our first mandala circling around the mat. We'll move a little slower and then we'll pick up the pace. Circle your arms overhead as you breathe in, press your palms. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Breathe in, come up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. And then fingertips down, lunge your right leg back. Take your right knee to the floor and keeping your fingertips on the floor, pause for a couple of breaths, just framing your fingers around your left foot. Left knee over your ankle, diagonal line, right hip to your right knee and sending your heart forward. And then from here, fingertips stay down, raise your right knee and then walk around to your right foot straightening your left leg as you go and stay quite elevated here with the whole sole of your left foot on the mat little bend in the right knee and use your fingertips to support you here in skandasana crab pose and then from here walk over to your left foot straightening now through your right leg and pause for a couple of breaths try and keep your chest open here so your collarbones are fanning out and then turn to face the back of your mat, framing your right foot and come into a runner's lunge. So your left thigh is lifting up in space. And then plant the hands, step back to your plank pose. 
And then take your knees, your chest and chin to the floor through a vinyasa. Take a mild back bend of your choice. And as you exhale, firm the belly, downward facing dog and take three full breaths. Engaging through your arms, equally through the legs. And then bring the toes together. Raise your left leg up and back as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, step your left hand up to your hands and take your right knee to the floor. Take a full cycle of breath here with your fingertips on the floor, sending your heart forward. And as you exhale, come into Ardha Hanuman Half Monkey Pose, walking the hands back and straightening out through your left leg. And keeping the left toes flexed, left quads engaged. And then as you breathe out, roll forward, raise your right knee and walk around to your right foot, bending your right knee, straightening through your left leg, Skandasana. And then walk over to your left foot, straighten your right leg. And then walk all the way around to your right foot to face the top edge of your mat now. Runner's lunge, back thigh lifting up in space. And then go ahead, step forward to the top edge of your mat. Bring your toes together. Take a halfway lift when you arrive. And as you exhale, fold in. Rise to stand, just coordinating your breath with your movement, palms press. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Second side, the left side now will move at the same pace. Arms rise overhead as you breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up halfway, send your heart forward, back muscles engaged. Exhale, fingertips down, lunge your left leg back, left knee to the floor. Keep the fingertips down and just find that nice deep lunge. Pausing and breathing. And then go ahead, raise your left knee and walk around to your left foot, straightening out through your right leg, staying elevated. And then walk over to your right foot, straighten your left leg now. And then turn and face the back of your mat, framing your left foot, come into runner's lunge. And then step back as you breathe in to a plank pose, chaturanga or lower your knees, chest, chin to the floor for your vinyasa, back bend of your choice. And then downward facing dog as you breathe out, we'll take three full cycles of breath. Allow your eyes to settle to a steady place so you're just keeping that stillness in your body and settling the mind, encouraging it to quieten. Bring your toes together and raise the right leg up and back as you breathe in. As you breathe out, step up to your hands, left knee to the floor. Keep your fingertips down, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, half monkey pose, walking your hands back underneath your shoulders, straightening out through your right leg. Take a few breaths and try and find balance through your pelvis, your hips there. And then roll forward, raising your left knee. Walk around to your left foot and bend your left knee, straightening through the right leg. And then crab over to the other side, straightening through your left leg. Walk all the way around to your left foot to face the top edge of your mat, runner's lunge. And then step up to the top edge of your mat, bring your toes together. Breathe in fully, come up halfway. Full breath out, forward fold. Soft bend in the knees, rise all the way to stand. 
and exhale hands to your heart center pause reset and allow your body to find symmetry once more so the next round same sequence we'll move one movement one breath try not to rush just keep your unhurried breath with you arms circle overhead as you breathe in dive forward over your legs as you breathe out forward fold inhale coming up halfway exhale fingertips down lunge your right leg back right knee to the floor low lunge breathe in exhale raise your right knee walk over to your right foot straightening your left leg and you can come down a little deeper if you like here and then over to your left foot now straightening through your right leg turn and face the back of your mat framing your right foot in runner's lunge step back as you inhale plank pose and either knees chest chin or full push up back bend of your choice breathe in downward facing dog as you breathe up toes step together left leg rising as you breathe in left foot forward between your hands as you breathe out right knee to the floor fingertips stay down take a full cycle of breath and as you breathe out Ardha Hanuman straightening out through your left leg roll forward raise your right knee walk around to your right foot bending in the right knee straightening the left leg and then over to your left straighten out through the right leg turning to face the front edge of your mat framing your front foot runner's lunge and then step up with your toes coming together halfway lift breathe in forward fold breathe out rise to stand breathe in we'll keep it rolling and as you exhale forward fold over the legs second side left side now halfway lift breathe in exhale left leg lunges back left knee to the floor keep the fingertips down breathe in exhale raise the left knee walk around to your left foot straightening out through the right leg over to your right foot straighten out through the left leg turn and face the back of your mat framing your left foot runner's lunge and then step back as you breathe in plank pose knees chest chin to the floor or a full vinyasa upward dog or cobra as you breathe in downward facing dog as you breathe out step the toes together at the back edge of your mat right leg rising as you breathe in right foot steps up in between your hands left knee to the floor take a full cycle of breath in and as you exhale walk your fingertips back and straighten out through your right leg Ardha Hanuman rolling forward raising your left knee walk around to your left foot and straighten out through your right leg crab pose over to your right straighten out through your left leg and walk around to your left foot to face the top edge of your mat runners lunge there back leg super straight and stepping up top edge of the mat toes come together inhale Ardha Uttanasana exhale forward fold rise all the way to stand as you breathe in as you exhale bring your hands to your heart center and take a moment to pause perhaps close the eyes tune in and just notice if your breath has accelerated and if it has just concentrate now on your exhales to lower your level of exertion just find stillness our next mandala we will stay at a fairly steady pace and we'll rinse and repeat so same same but different we'll add on keeping that calm breath with you circle your arms overhead as you breathe in gaze up exhale forward fold over your legs inhale rising up halfway exhale step your right foot back for low lunge right knee to the floor 
This time raise the arms on your in-breath. And as you exhale, fingertips underneath your shoulders, come back for a hamstring stretch, straightening out through your left leg. Roll forward, pick up your right knee, runner's lunge. And then we'll twist, right hand stays down, left hand to the sky, and pause for a few breaths here. Stay balanced across your pelvis, keep engaging your right leg and your core to support you. Deep breath in. Exhale, left hand down, Skandasana crab, walking over to your right foot, straightening through your left leg. And then over to your left foot, straightening out through your right leg. Walk all the way around to face the back edge of your mat, framing your right foot. And step your left leg through now to come to sit. Janushisasana. You might not have expected that. So just uh, move yourself so you now have your left leg out straight and you can relax your right knee out to the side. Just placing your right foot to your inner upper left thigh. Left toes flexed. And revolve your torso to the left. And then reach your arms up alongside your ears as you breathe in. And a forward fold on your exhale. And we're here for about five breaths. So just moving incrementally with your breath. So you're really tuning into its feeling tone. You're finding a little bit more space and length as you breathe in. Your navel's contracting back toward your spine as you breathe out. And you're perhaps going just a little deeper. Deep breath in here and exhale to release. Taking your right hand behind you now, place the whole palm down and as you breathe in, we're going to lean into the right hand, raise the hips, point and extend your left toes and your leg. Full breath in and exhale to release. From here we'll cross our left leg in front of our right leg and step back through your vinyasa. Moving back to a high push up. Exhale, low push up. Upward dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. And taking three to five deep full cycles of breath. Just anchoring all four corners of your body into the man. So you feel an upward energy through the arm bones, through the leg bones, and spreading the sit bones. Resetting. And second side coming up, take a deep breath in, gaze forward between your hands. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop to the top edge of your mat, bring your toes together. When you arrive, take a halfway lift to Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way to stand, just coordinating your breath with your movement, palms touch, eyes up. Exhale, your hands to your heart centre. Left side now, take a deep breath in, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fingertips down, left foot lunges back, low lunge. Arms rise on your in-breath. Hands underneath your shoulders, straighten out through your front leg on your out-breath. Hamstring stretch. You're rolling forward, creeping the fingertips forward. Pick up your left knee, runner's lunge. And take your twist. Left hand stays down, right hand to the ceiling, breathe in and pause a couple of breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, right hand down, Skandasana, walking over to your left foot, straightening out through your right leg and over to your right foot, straightening out through your left leg. Walking all the way around to face the front of your mat, framing your left foot. And step 
your right leg through to come to sit for Janushi Sasana and take your time to arrive there. You're going to relax your left knee out to the side, just a comfortable external rotation. And your right leg's going to be straight, toes flexed, right quads engaged, and the back of your right leg pressing down into the mat along with your sit bones. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, forward fold over the midline of your right leg. And take a few breaths here in your forward fold. Gathering your abdominal muscles in and back toward your spine. And keeping the collarbones as broad as you can so you feel like you have good posture in your upper body there as you fold forward. Just keep tuning into your breath, releasing and deepening as you breathe. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Left hand behind you now, whole palm down. And then as you breathe in, lean into your left hand, raise the hips, point and extend your right toes, your leg. Lifting up. And as you exhale, sit back down and crossing your right leg in front of your left leg, hands over the top and either step back or hop back through a vinyasa, high to low push up, upward dog or cobra and downward facing dog. Pause for a few rounds of breath. Encouraging your eyes to settle to, or to perhaps even close here. Relaxing your jaw and the corners of your eyes. And just feeling the ripple of energy through your body as you breathe. Next round, we do the same sequence, moving one movement, one breath. Take a deep breath in, gaze forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly float forward to the top edge of your mat, toes come together. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Rise to stand on your in-breaths and your gaze up to the tip of your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart centre. Circling the arms overhead, breathe in, legs strong. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, right foot lunges back, low lunge, right knee to the floor. Arms rise on your in-breath. Hamstring stretch on your out-breath. Left leg straightens. Roll forward, pick up your right knee, runners lunge, breathe in. And keep your right hand down, left hand to the sky, and twist. As you feel yourself, breathe out, left hand down, skandasana, walking over to your right foot, straighten out through your left leg, and over to your left foot, straightening out through your right leg. Walking around to face the back of your mat now, framing your right foot, and step your left leg all the way through to come to sit for Janushi Sasana. Relax your right knee out and take a deep breath in, reach your arms alongside your ears, find length both sides of the waist and on your exhale forward fold. Two more deep smooth breaths. Inhaling to release, take your right hand behind you for your lift and as you breathe in Lean into your right hand, raise your hips, and point and extend your left toes. And exhale to release. Crossing your left leg in front of your right leg for to step over your legs and back through a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. We'll keep it rolling, take a deep breath in, gaze forward. End of your exhale, bend the knees, step or lightly hop forward. Toes come together. 
Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, chest forward and bright. Exhale and fold in. Soft bend in the knees. Rise to stand, breathe in. Hands to your heart as you breathe out. Left side now, arms over here, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Exhale, left foot lunging back, low lunge, left knee to the floor, reach the arms on your inhale, hamstring stretch on your exhale, roll forward, pick up your left knee, runner's lunge, left hand stays down, right hand to the sky, breathe in, right hand down, skandasana now, crab pose, walking over to your left foot, straightening out through your right leg, and over to your right foot, straightening out through your left leg. Walking all the way around to face the front of your mat, framing your left foot. And step through with your right leg and come to sit for Janu Shisasana, head to knee pose. Stay balanced on both your sit bones and reach the arms up alongside your ears. And as you breathe out, take a forward fold. Hands can arrive either side of that front leg. You don't need to reach your toes. So you stay comfortable in your low back spine. There's a mild twist here as well as a forward fold. So you're just moving and breathing, pausing in a way that honors what you need from your practice today. And breathing out, you'll rise up, take your left hand behind you. And as you breathe in, lift the hips and point out through the right toes there. Exhaling as you release, drop the buttocks down, cross the leg, right leg in front of the left leg and either step back through a vinyasa or take rest and make your way back to downward facing dog and we'll all meet back there. Anytime you need to do less, you can take the knees to the floor. We've got one more round, one more mandala. Two more cleansing breaths. Deep breath in, gaze forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward. Toes come together. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Rise all the way to stand, breathe in, stretch your whole body out. And then rest your hands to your heart, anchor in. Circle the arms overhead, breathe in. Dive forward, breathe out, Uttanasana, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, fingertips down, right foot lunges back, low lunge, right knee to the floor, arms rise on your in breath, half monkey pose on your out breath, out breath, straightening out through the left leg, and then roll forward, come into your twist, runner's lunge, right hand stays down, left hand to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, left hand down, coming into Skandasana, walking around to your right foot, straighten out through your left leg, over to your left foot, straighten out through your right leg. Walk around, circle round, face the back of your mat, and here we're going to come into Warrior Two. Anchor your back heel here, make sure you've got a long stride, right legs forward and rise all the way up, arms parallel with the floor, nice deep lunge through the front leg, right knee tracks forward, take a deep breath in and out, next breath in reverse your warrior reach up and back and as you breathe out we mill both hands to the floor set up for runner's lunge, both toes point forward take a deep breath in here send your heart forward and as you breathe out, pulse to a pyramid pose, lift the hips and straighten your front leg any amount. Just pause, hands framing your front foot or even if you need to be a little bit more elevated, hands can sit on your leg. 
Make sure your quads feel engaged, your back leg feels super straight and strong. And then re-bending your front knee. You're going to walk your right foot across the midline of your mat to the left and slide your left knee up to the pinky toe side of your right foot to sit down for a twist. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Right fingertips behind you, raise the left arm up toward the ceiling. Find length through your spine, keep all that length as you exhale and twist. Left elbow or arm can hug or hinge your right knee there. Take three rounds of breath. Twisting incrementally. Moving mindfully with intention. And one more deep breath in. Exhale, face forward and unravel the legs. So you just cross the legs any which way. Hands over the legs, step back, jump back through a vinyasa or make your way to downward facing dog if you need to do less. Back bend of your choice and downward facing dog. And you might find now that uh, when you arrive here, you can take a slightly longer stride. You feel the warmth in your body that you've created. And tuning into all those subtle sensations and the feedback from your body as you pause and reset. From here, take a deep breath in, gaze forward. End of your exhale, bend the knees, step or lightly hop forward to the top edge of your mat. This is our last round. Take the toes together and a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way to stand on your in-breath, Urdhva Hastasan, hands to your heart, Tadasan. Circle the arms overhead, breathe in. Take your time to fold, Uttanasan, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Lunge your left foot back, left knee to the floor, low lunge. Reach the arms as you breathe in. Ardha Hanuman as you breathe out. Roll forward, come into your runner's lunge and twist. Left hand stays down, right hand to the sky. And right fingertips down, Skandasana, crab pose. Walking around to your left foot, straightening out through your right leg. And opposite side, just moving with your breath, keeping your chest open. Walk all the way round now to circle to the front of your mat, setting up for warrior two. Anchor your back heel, rise all the way up, deepen your stride as you breathe out and sink the hips down. Torso straight up and down, take a few breaths to arrive. Next breath in, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. And as you exhale, we mill both hands to the floor, runner's lunge. Pivoting onto the balls of your back toes, both toes point forward. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, lift the hips and work towards straightening the front leg, coming into pyramid variation here. And pushing down through the big toe mound, <clears throat> big toe mound of your left foot and the inner heel to feel anchored and steady. Calm and quiet with your breath. Re-bending your left knee. And with your fingertips down, walk your left foot across the midline of your mat to the right and slide your right knee up to sit next to the pinky toe side of your left foot and sit for a twist. Ardha Matsyandrasana, left fingertips behind you now. Raise the right arm up 
And as you exhale, either hug or hinge the front of your left knee. And take three full cycles of breath. You're nearly there. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. And we're going to unravel here. Step over your legs. Step quietly back to downward facing dog to transition. And as you breathe out, just take the knees to the floor and your knees can split quite wide here. Buttocks to the heels, child's pose. And let your forearms rest down. An alternative here is to press your palms and take your hands to the nape of your neck, walking your elbows forward. Nice way to release the back of your arms and also release tension across the shoulders and the back of the neck. Here for another five smooth, nourishing breaths. And then just really gently unravel and come all the way up so you're in a kneeling position. And if this deep flexion through your knees is uncomfortable, please just take a cross-legged seat here as we unravel through our upper body. And take some eagle arms, taking your arms out wide to the side. And then cross your right arm on top of your left arm, either catching opposite shoulders there like you're hugging your body or wrap the arms to press the palms. And very few subtle adjustments here, just letting the shoulders drop away from your earlobes. Drawing lightly forward through the forearms. So you feel the skin stretch in your upper back between the shoulder blades. And let your eyes rest to where your elbows cross. And you can relax your belly, let your breath move freely. And then as you breathe in, reach the arms out wide to the side and we will switch. Left arm on top, right arm under, eagle arms. And just projecting your forearms forward there. So you feel slightly domed in your upper back. And two more cycles of breath. And releasing. And from here, just come to sit on your buttocks, reach both legs out in front of you. And two options here, just choosing one that suits your body. Going to either come into a half hero reclined posture where you would take your right knee and take your right heel toward your outer right hip and keeping the left leg straight the toes flexed and then working toward reclining back and it may mean that you just stay on your hands or maybe come onto your forearms just to find deep stretch through the top of your right thigh if that doesn't suit your body and the shape is not that appealing there, just bend both knees, take your feet to the floor and we'll sit for a hip groin stretch. So give yourself enough room to take your right ankle 
to the top of your left knee and just flexing your right toes finding an upright shape through your torso and you might like to just take a gentle rock side to side to modify here your left foot would step away from your buttocks you can make it a little stronger by bringing the left heel in so wherever you're at take three deep breaths and we will switch sides so just repeating that shape on your left side now either taking half hero virasana reclined or a seated hip groin stretch setting yourself up so those of you in half hero just making sure that your thighs stay parallel without the left knee splaying out to the side too much and just make sure you feel comfortable that you're not uh, sending the apex of the curve into your low back as you recline back trying to keep a nice uniform comfortable arch through your spine and then for those of you in the seated hip groin stretch just finding that perfect spot to place your right foot so you can find a comfortable external rotation through the left inner thigh, the outer left buttocks. And just pause for two more full breaths. And we release a forward fold to complete our practice before Shavasana. Please feel free to sit on the edge of a blanket. It always makes folding forward a little bit uh, more accessible if you need to do that. And also you can take your feet about hip width apart here. It always gives you a little bit more space to fold forward. And then when you're set and you're heavy and anchored in your sit bones, reach your arms, breathing in. And then folding forward as you breathe and just notice your posture as you fold forward. Try and prioritize that feeling of space, receptivity, brightness across your chest. And just allow your eyes to close, your attention to turn in. and releasing and you can make your way onto your back here for the last few minutes of practice either for shavasana laying down or you can sit upright for a seated meditation just choosing how you'd like to seal your practice if you're laying back, just turning your palms face up toward the ceiling, letting your feet fall out to the sides. Just taking up the space around you, making yourself comfortable. Aligning your spine. And then just gently closing down the eyes. And if you'd prefer to sit upright here, with your eyes closed, just tune into the shape of your body. Notice the length of your spine, its natural curvature. Releasing down through the hips and the groins. and relaxing all your effort. Yeah, 
and then just very subtly tuning it in. And just sensing what you can feel in your body, maybe some residual warmth from your practice. Or you might feel parts of your body starting to cool down. Softness to your breath. And clarity to your mind. And just remaining in this place of surrender for the last minute of your practice. And then very slowly emerging from this restful state. Bringing some movement to your body. Breathing a deeper breath. And then if you're lying back, bringing your feet to the floor, bending the knees. And just resting over to your right side. Just pause, take a moment, no need to rush. Just savour the feeling that you've created from practising. Dragging yourself all the way back up to sit. Namaste, yogis.